Hey guys, so we are at the dollar store and we're curious as if there's going to be any like self-defense tools here at the dollar store. So let's go in and find out. Parking is on point. Okay, so when you're walking your dog, you can have your flashlight on you, and you can... hit him with the dog shit. Well, that's an option. That's what I would do. Some nunchucks. Homemade nunchucks. There's screwdrivers. Oops. Gloves to clean up the mess. I'm just kidding. A little last minute gift. Folding knife. Huh. Okay. okay. So we got home from the dollar store and we found a lot of things. So I'll post them here shortly. But if you ever go to the dollar store, you need to find this. LA, it's totally awesome. Seriously, it will change your life. I promise you. I promise you that. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit different from what I usually do but I was kind of curious so obviously we went out there there was a couple of things that we ran into now the flashlight and the dog poop bags was like a win for sure if you have a dog and you're out walking your dog and you don't and if you don't pick up after your dog you should but I thought that was pretty interesting for the dollar store to have that double whammy of a flashlight and dog poop bags I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys heard Justin's comment. If you did, comment below if you did or not, because honestly, I, I almost lost it when he was talking about that in the store. He's so funny to go shopping with. Sometimes I'm like, I'm just going to leave you on the truck, but I'm going to take you in so we can have some humor. <laughs> now, a couple of things as well at the dollar store. You could come up with a lot of things if you put them together. So. I'm not going to take credit for this. All credit goes to this person right here. So he suggested to get a lock and also a bandana. Now, now, if you put them together, you can come up with a way to use that tool for self-defense. Now, it would be like a blunt object where you would hit that person for them to back off so you could protect yourself. But it would be a lock with a bandana where you can swing it and hit that person or do whatever you need to do to try to either, you know, fight or flight, that would be up to you and your own personal preference. Now, with flashlights at the dollar store, that is great. If that's the only means and what you have available to you, then use it. It's better to have a flashlight and not need it and need it and not have it. Same as your firearm. But here's the thing. If you want a self-defense tool that's going to last you, you should probably invest in like a stream light or something like that. That's a little bit more money, but at the same time, if you spend $20, it's going to last you a little bit longer than probably one that you find at the dollar store. So, you know, quantity over quality, that's kind of up to you and your personal preference and how you train. But you can find these flashlights at the dollar store for super cheap. Also, it's a good idea for your kids to hold on to a flashlight. If you're out and about, if you're out in public, if it's low light, if it's dark, have your kids get that flashlight out when you're going through the parking lot. Or if you feel like you're just being watched, you know, give your kids that tool for you to use so you can at least eliminate that threat if there was one waiting for you at your vehicle. So that's kind of just what I suggest, recommend. But again, those were just a couple of items that we found at the dollar store. It was a lot of fun. I want to know, do you have extra items that you found at the dollar store that you use for self-defense? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.